Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are rejoining our Jupiter flyby mission, the uh, DOSP. Uh, it has just entered Jupiter's sphere of influence. You can kind of barely see all of Jupiter and her moons way the hell off there. It's going to be another month and a half before uh, this old bird hits periapsis. And we've got some other things to attend to in the meantime, but what I figured I would do was at least come out here and run some of these uh, science experiments. They will probably all be duplicates of things that our Jupiter orbiter has already done, but it really can't hurt considering we've got uh, lots and lots of time on our hands and lots of things just deciding that they don't want to be clicked on today. All right, it's going to take about uh, 40 minutes or so for all of these commands to reach the spacecraft. So we will be spending some time just kind of waiting around for that to happen. Uh, these are all instruments that were on the uh, Jupiter Orbiter mission. But uh, like I said, it, the redundancy certainly doesn't help. Sometimes you got to zoom in on things to hit that analyze telemetry or to get things to be clickable at all. Uh, I think that was all of them. So we're just going to jump into the time warps here. And at the end of our signal delay, it should just pop us right out. There we go. And with just a couple of seconds in between each one. Okay. What? Nothing has happened. Flight computer did all those. Yep. Got another two minutes or so. I don't know why flight computer dropped us out. That's very interesting. Okay. Yep. Uh, you can go away now, flight computer. Uh, yeah, we have both of those. We'll go ahead and transmit one home just to test our comms. We know they're working because it got the command. And man, this thing is being laggy as hell today. Okay, well. Over Jupiter's equatorial bands. And now since we do have a little bit of time to kill, I'll bring up Kerbal Alarm Clock here. I still have experiments rolling in. Uh, I have a rocket that will be completed in 12 days. We don't really need to worry about that. Uh, we do have a correction maneuver for the Norseman Mars Map Sat, which has been aptly renamed MOM, the Mars Orbital Mapper. How nice. <laughs> so let's just uh, watch our stuff roll in. When we've got probably uh, a day or two left on this counter, we're going to skip in. So get ready for like a month and a half of time warping as we can just watch these moons dance around this is not nearly fast enough okay I, I'm glad that mission is built and ready to go we can actually delete that alarm also leaving this the only alarm that we have left So I know this is super brilliant uh, YouTubing, isn't it? Let's uh, let's watch something time warp towards a planet while we waste a, a month and a half away. Uh, I should note, though, that it is probably at, in game time. It has just turned 1963, and we have landed three people on the moon. This is our third spacecraft to encounter Jupiter. And uh, we're... We have missions on the way to Mars, so I'd say we're doing pretty well. A um, couple more projects uh, in the oven as we speak, but this is a, a design I'm a little, I'm more pleased about than most. I think it's a, a pretty cool looking spacecraft, if I do say so. All right, well, we're coming up on the uh, eight day mark. You know, what's a week here and there? And just to make sure nothing's going to explode randomly because uh, KSP does seem to be acting very weird today. Let's jump out to the map and see if we can't locate the correct spacecraft amidst all of this crap. It's really time to kind of clean up uh... oh man those are old. Those can probably go. Ares 1 yeah. Norseman Mapsat A is that what we're looking for? Yeah, I think so. We'll switch to it and try to make our correction burn. What? All right, this 
does in fact appear to be the correct spacecraft. It does have the node in seven days. And uh, this is a 12.2 meter per second burn. I think we have, yeah, three ignitions left on our AJ-10. We will not be using it for this. We're going to instead use uh, the RCS thrusters because it's only 12 meters per second. Who cares? We'll probably plot out an additional correction to put ourselves on a better... Uh, actually, we got the time. Why don't we just go ahead and futz with that node now while I am thinking about it. Whoa, man, there goes the view. All right, so where's our... Yes, there's Mars. Let's focus our view. I'm not going to make you watch me mess with nodes, but okay, well, that's actually... That's pretty perfect. Did I mess with that already? I don't think I did, but let's see if we can't just tweak that a little bit. Alright, we've got our node. Uh, I'm glad I didn't make you guys watch that. Or did I? I don't know yet. Alright, so let's just go ahead and warp closer to the node. We got seven days to kill. We can be a little more aggressive on this, plus Mech Jeb's going to give us at least a minute warning, which probably isn't enough. Okay, <laughs> we have half an hour. We can still time warp just a bit. Sorry, I'm, I don't trust Mech Jeb. All right, I swear I clicked. I did not, great. So uh, I'm just going to hold the H key for 10 minutes because that's what this is going to require. I'm not going to make you watch it, though. Oh, one whole meter per second to go. All right, well, let's see what that bought us. Oh, and it's leaving <laughs> way, way off course. We're going to have to turn off our RCS. It's going to take absolutely minutes for that to get there. Yeah, buddy. That's not what I wanted it to be. So yeah, now I'm just using the J key to twist ourselves or push ourselves laterally. Stop compensating. almost polar L to correct all right you know what I'd rather stop stop correcting for me all right let's get rid of that node see look at why are you know what I'm I'm sick of you sick of your crap node RCS oh wow that came out really well Dude, awesome. <laughs> All right, now we'll just uh, throw in this maneuver here just to kind of get an idea of calculations. Uh, the basic scanner needs to be under 500 kilometers to work. So we need to make sure that we can put ourselves into a under 500 kilometer orbit. Should be almost. Okay, yeah. 441, that looks pretty good, and that's only 2,000 meters per second. That's awesome. 
So we'll just need to add another one here to bring that one down. Whoop, whoop. 400. Bingo. That's going to be it. We're going to map some Mars and stuff. Wow, how much... Yeah, you got lots of fuel. Why is that not showing anything on the... Oh, KSP, you're effing killing me here, man. Whatever. <laughs> we have good contact. We have good power. Uh, I mean, this is pretty off angle, but when we shut down the telemetry on our uh, probe course, I'm sure it'll all work out. So, uh, that note is in 173 days, so we've got lots of time to go do stuff. So, uh, I think I actually am going to call that an episode. I know it's kind of a short one, but I really want to get back to prototyping uh, for a reusable or a space plane or a shuttle. However you want to quantify it. So uh, expect more of that real soon. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I will talk to you later. See ya. Okay, slight amendus. Really sorry, but uh, I went back and double-checked, and this is just six hours from its periapsis, so I figured uh, why not watch uh, a little bit of a sped-up flyby of Jupiter because this could be really cool. Once the clouds things stop behaving all kinds of weird... And, yeah, okay. There they even out. And I can only imagine all the really cool pictures this spacecraft is now sending back. And we just... swing through the dark side. And then out the other. We are now on our way out of the solar system. Thanks for the assist, big brother. And then the clouds get all wonky and weird again. Does anybody know a fix for this? It's so irritating. <laughs> like This could be just the most beautiful cinematic thing ever. And instead... We get this. Okay. Honestly, this time, that's going to be the end of the episode. Thank you for hanging out, everybody. I do appreciate it. I will see all of you tomorrow.